Nowadays, I am a very big fan of Julianne Moore. She's one of my favourite actresses. But before I watched Still Alice, I don't believe I'd seen her in anything. And then I watched this film, fell in love with the film, and instantly fell in love with Julianne Moore too. So this has a very big soft... I have a very big soft spot for this film. So there won't be any spoilers in this, so you're free to listen if you haven't seen the film. But if you haven't seen it, I do suggest you do, because it is incredible. It's directed by Richard Glatzer and Wash Westmoreland, and is all about a woman who gets early Alzheimer's, which is very young, um, or relatively young, and begins to show these symptoms of Alzheimer's. And she's exceptionally clever. She's a very clever woman. She's She lectures, she's very academic, uh, it, she lectures in linguistics, which is ironic and very cleverly done because she's lecturing in linguistics and then starts to forget words and then obviously that get that progresses and, and starts to get worse and she forgets more than just words, she forgets people and obviously this tracks the progression of her Alzheimer's and it is heartbreaking to watch and Ordinarily, I don't really ever watch films that will make me cry, but when it's about mental health or mental illnesses or anything like that, uh, I will watch it because I do find them very fascinating. And what I love about this is that the Alzheimer's is affecting somebody who is not near the end of their life in terms of age. Most Alzheimer's films tend to be about an elderly grandparent or somebody like that who's already quite, um, you know, retired and approaching the end of their natural life. But this really affects this woman. She's, you know, she's got a family. She's got her the rest of her life to live for, and I think that makes it all the more challenging to watch. I can't comment on the accuracy of this. I'm not the most knowledgeable about Alzheimer's. I understand its basic principles. Maybe principles wasn't the right word to use there, but I understand the basics of it. But this certainly opened me up to how it can affect people emotionally. The driving force behind this is, of course, Julianne Moore. Her performance, oh, it's, it's everything. It's exquisite. It's heartbreaking. As a character, she's so likeable and lovable. I love the fact that she's really intelligent because that just hits it all the more when somebody with so much to offer intellectually has that ripped away from them slowly, bit by bit, and as her mind crumbles, you can see that she does as well, because she's losing her identity, and it's challenging. There isn't anything about this that I do not like. Alec Baldwin's in it, which is very good. Uh, Kristen Stewart's in it, not really seen much that she's done apart from Twilight, but her role was really good she plays the daughter and I thought you know the family dynamic they had worked really well for what I was kind of expecting the film has a 7.5 out of 10 on IMDb which is pretty brilliant I will say this is the best film about Alzheimer's that I personally have ever seen if there are others that you think are great please do recommend them to me I would really like to see them but this one is incredible. If you haven't seen Still Alice, please, please do. If you have seen it, let me know what you think of it, and I just hope you love it as much as I do.